Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lima Central Catholic High School, where today in boys basketball action, we've got a dandy as the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds welcome in the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. And Gilly, for West Central Ohio, the matchups don't get much bigger than LCC versus OG. No, it does not. And we got two teams coming in here with you know, zero blemishes on the losing side. One team coming in at 7-0 and and the other one at 6-0. and It's going to be a very entertaining uh, late afternoon here at uh, LCC Gymnasium. Today's pregame show is sponsored by Rhodes State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. Gilly, let's take a look at both clubs for the visiting Titans. They come in at 7-0, 1-0 in the WBL. Look, we can talk all we want, but it starts and stops with the Mr. Basketball candidate, Colin White. It does. It starts. It starts. He's the one that stirs the drink, obviously. You know, the, the Buckeye product. Uh, Soon to be here in about, what, six months? <laughs> yeah, He's going to be in scarlet and gray, and yeah. we'll be talking about it at the next level. But, yeah, he brings so much to the forefront, along with uh, Kate Nurford. And he's got a nice complimentary group of players that are playing really well. I had the pleasure of having them at the Q Classic, and they beat a very good Shelby team that took them to the wire. So, yeah, they've been battle-tested, but to come over here and play probably Sean Powell's deepest group uh, that LCC has had in a long time, uh, they're going to push OG, you know, for whatever they can bring to the table. And for Lima Central Catholic, Sean Powell's squad is absolutely lights out, Gilly. I had them uh, two nights ago. They were fantastic in a win against Shawnee. It starts with them with Jordan Pretty. The sophomore guard averages 14.3 a game. He's electric, Darren. He can do it all, but they've got a nice complement of players, including the quarterback from the football team in Mr. Parker. Well, they, you know, like you said, they've got it all. If you've got a solid point guard and you throw the two bigs in there inside and you throw in a bunch of role players, that's part of the reason why they're sitting six and zero. Oh, when you have one player at eight eight, another one just under seven and a half, another one just under eight, one just under ten, one at eight and one at fourteen point three. You know, when you write that scouting report up, it's tough to write it up on players. And right now, you can see that they're playing very unselfish basketball. And that's led them to that 6-0 early season start. Well, sit back, basketball fans. It's Ottawa Glendorf. It's Lima Central Catholic. And all the action right here on WSN. We'll have tip-off right after these messages. Welcome back to LCC Edward C. Hurd Gymnasium, where tonight the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds tackle the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert, our entire WSN crew. And Gilly, let's take a look at the starting lineups for both teams. For the visitors from Ottawa Glandorf, they'll start number three, Grant Schrader, a 6'1 junior. He'll go at 7.3 a game. Number four, Grady Tomazos, a 6'0 junior, 4.6 a game. Number 12, Ross Mag is a 6'3 junior, 2.0 a game. Number 22, Colin White, 6'6 senior, 25.7. And number 24, Caden Nerford, a 6'4 senior at 15.6. For the homestanding T-Birds, they'll go with number zero, Jordan Pretty. He's a sophomore guard at 14.3 a game. Number one, Willie Foster, is a sophomore guard at 9.5. The quarterback, number two, Carson Parker, the senior forward at 8 point a game. Number five, Damar Foster, is a senior guard at 8 point a game. And rounding out the starting five for the Birds, number 14, Billy Burke is a senior forward at 7.4 a game. So a lot of size on the court tonight, Gilly. A lot of size, a lot of athleticism, a lot of players with high, very high basketball IQs. So a just an absolutely packed crowd here for this afternoon occasion here. An early start today for a Saturday afternoon game, but uh, didn't take the crowd away from it at all, Gilly. <laughs> no, it brought them in and brought them in. You know, the OG side's completely full. The LCC side sold a heck of a lot of uh, reserve seats for this one today. They sure did. Gilly, when you look at Colin White, he is the absolute, maybe the best player in the state of Ohio, and not if one of the best players in the whole country. Yeah, he's he's definitely, his stock has risen. He had a real good summer, uh, especially of AAU, and he got noticed, and, you know, he worked on some skills that he thought that he was average in to, to improve those, and, you know, Coach Holman and his staff took him on board, and told him if he did these things that they'd offer, and they sure did, and 
Once that offer came, it didn't take that young man very long to accept the Scarlet Gray scholarship to uh, be a future Buckeye. And on the other side of the uh, bench, you've got Coach Sean Powell, who comes over from Bath High School, a state championship at Bodkins High School a few years back, and he's got this program really playing at a high level, undefeated at 6-0. Well, you know, Coach McLaughlin and Coach Powell know one another. You know, both of them are very good coaches. Both played in the Western Buckeye League. Tyson at his home school, Ottawa Glendorf, and Sean Powell played for Jeff Heaston at Lima Shawnee. Very competitive uh, players and coaches. So we are just about ready to get this one underway. It's Lima Central Catholic. It's Ottawa Glendorf. And, brother, when I check the schedule, these are the kind of games I get excited about. Love it. Love, <laughs> love these games. <laughs> Absolutely. And you look down here at Press Row, and we've got radio, TV. We've got them all out here for this big one. So we are just about ready to go. Full house here. Day before New Year's Eve, and we are ready to rock and roll. And Ottawa Glandorf will control the tip. This is number four, Grady Tomasas. He's guarded out top by DeMar Foster. Tomasas will swing the ball around. He'll go right side, back over to Schrader. Schrader looks for Colin White. Colin White guarded by Carson Parker, which is a great matchup. Two really good athletes on the floor. This is Erford. Erford can knock down the three, Gilly, with the best of them. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, I sort of got my tongue twisted there, but... <laughs> You know, OG was trying to be patient, got themselves in a position where they turned the basketball over right there. We just saw a, a fast break opportunity by LCC, and they couldn't convert it. And there you saw the sophomore Jordan Pretty with a steal, takes oh, it down the floor. Didn't you take saw, him yeah, long, no, did it? <laughs> did not. I was going to say, you see the athleticism with the young man. He does a great job. This is Carson Parker. He takes the 12, 15-footer, and it goes off the mark. A little bit of nerves and feeling out here. This is a big game, and it's an early season contest before the first of the year. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see how much energy that Parker's going to have to, you know, put forth tonight if he's going to, you know, control yeah, absolutely. contain Colin White. Colin White they listed at 6'6". Six, six. They've got uh, Carson Parker at 6'4". They both look about the same. This is White. He'll dribble drive left side. He's double teamed. Billy Burke come across the baseline and cut him off. And a great job by the T-Bird defenders. Yeah, DeMar Foster, the little dig down from the wing area and tapped the basketball out of bounds. And you're going to see that backwards help on that baseline all night, Gilly, because, you know, that's basic shell principles. When he goes that side, you've got to get an extra man over there. Well, one person cannot guard Colin White. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Sometimes not, not even two. This is Erford with the ball. He'll dribble drive. Dumps it down low. Shot goes up. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down. Burt corrals it. T-Birds will take control. Yeah, good entry pass right there for Erford. There's Tomasos right there with the deflection. Trying to kick it ahead to Pretty. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Our scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. This is Burke up top. He's guarded by Caden Erford on top of the key. He'll go back door, or excuse me, he'll go up top to Willie Foster, the sophomore guard. Foster dribble drives and kicks it back to Burke. Burke's trying to go down low. Little spin move back to Foster. Foster dribble drives, 12 footers up. It's off the mark. He gets his own rebound, kicks it back out. They'll go ball inside to Burke. Burke lays it in. T-Burns up 2-0 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, that second opportunity right there. Come back to get Ottawa Glandorf right there. There's a jumper from the foul line, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Foster. He'll bring it down left side. T-Bird's on the run. This is Carson Parker. He's going to take it up, guarded by White. No call. A lot of contact into the rim. They're going to let him play today. Here come the Titans. They'll run the floor down the left side. Shot goes up, and it's good. Number three, Grant Schrader, the 6'1 junior at 7.3 a game. And we're all nodded at two on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, pretty take right there by Schrader, using his body to adjust in midair, trying not to commit that offensive a foul. Very well done by that young man. Parker with the ball. He'll dribble drive, a little turnaround, and knocked away by Colin White. And there you see he's not just an offensive player, Gilly. He can get after him with the end. No, that was great timing right there. And he didn't swat at it. He tipped it and kept his play for his teammates. Erford with the three from the top. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Foster. He'll get it out to Pretty. Pretty goes down the right side. Takes it up. And he scores. And he's fouled. Jordan Pretty. There you see the sophomore's athleticism as he goes up the right side and he scores. T-Birds lead 4-2, and they'll go to the line.
Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Good finish right there by Pretty. Taking that thing up with two hands and two feet, exploding to the rim, drawing contact, got the end one and knocked it down. Makes it 5-2 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. T-Bird's up on the Titans. White will swing it over to Grant Schrader. They'll go back to White. White guarded by Carson Burrett. Nice play down low. Shot goes up and it's blocked. That was number 12, Ross Mag, as he's deflected by Billy Burke. And here comes Foster. He'll go back to Foster. Three ball on the way. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Erford. Nice box out by Mag right there, allowing Erford to get his hands on that defensive rebound. This is White. Hasn't got a shot yet. Guarded by Carson Parker. They're going to get a foul out top. They're going to get Carson Parker on the foul. And that's what you talked about, Gilly, is how much energy is Carson Parker going to take to defend Colin White? Yeah, because it's definitely going to take its toll on his legs. Colin. You know, he's grabbing his grabbing his shorts right now. Colin's just going to run him, sure, run him to sure. death. White will trigger the ball in. Into the game now for the T-Birds. Number 10, Holden Aldridge into the game. This is Erford, and they're going to get Erford on a charge. And a nice job by Pretty of getting in position. Erford kind of lowered his shoulder a little bit, and they get him on the player control foul. Yeah, he tried, to, he tried to take the basketball from a good shot into a great shot and took it one dribble too far, and that's what Coach McLaughlin, I seen him signal to him with the hand gesture of shoot the basketball, so I think he was... He was telling him to shoot that three if he's uncontested to let it go. D'Angelo Collins enters the game now for the Birds, and he is a workhorse down low, a big body forward. He's in for Billy Burke for the Birds. There's a jumper from the foul line. It's off the mark. Rebound by Collins. As on cue, D'Angelo Collins with a nice rebound. Kicks it back out. Foster drives. Ball's deflected. It goes back to the Titans. Here comes Collins away the Titans down the middle of the floor. White takes it straight up, and he is blocked by D'Angelo Collins. He'll go to the line for two. I think they got Collins. They'll get Collins on the foul. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Simplified Flooring is our instant replay sponsor. So Colin White will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line as he gets a couple of shots here. T-Bird still lead 5-2. White has yet to score with 4-11 to go. Shot goes up, and it is off the mark. So a little bit of struggle on the shooting end for the Titans. You know, coming into the contest, Colin right now is shooting 68 and a half. And I watched him the night that, you know, they beat Shelby. He went in sort of a funk at the free throw line. And let's see if he can't go back and knock that down, which he did. He gets that one. One to two for the young man. There's Foster and the Birds. They lead 5-3 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And we've got another foul as Pretty knocks in the three, but that will not count. Gilly, also, we talked about OG struggles here in the beginning of this game, but if you look at Lima Central Catholic, they only give up 39 points a game. Defense is their calling card. Yeah, that quarter-court defense that they can bring at you, they do such a good job putting pressure on the basketball and, like you said, playing midline and really helping out. There's a three ball off the mark. Shot went up by Alex Wagner. The 6'2 senior misses everything on the rim. Entering the game for the Birds, number four, Matthew Quatman, a do-it-all, everything guard. That young man is a heck of a player coming off the bench for the Birds and coming into the game for the Titans is number, excuse me, number one, Alex Wagner, who already checked into the game. Good job by Holden Aldridge coming in there. There's a steal. Here comes White. He's going to take it up, and he's going to be contested by Foster, and he's blocked. He gets the rebound, but he takes it back up and misses, and here comes Foster on the break. Well, what a defensive play, because from up here, it looked like it was all ball, partner. Yeah, you're right. Quatman misses the three, and the rebound comes down to number that's 14. That's big here. That's on uh, Parker. Brody Fortman with the rebound, but that's Carson Parker on the foul. That's his second, Gilly, and that's the last thing the T-Birds need. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do matchup-wise if, if they don't switch off now. 325 to go from Lima Central Catholic High School here. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert in this huge non-conference uh, matchup between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the LCC Thunderbirds. There's a steal from Purdy out top. Ball on the floor. Foster corrals it. He's going to take it down the floor. And there's a foul. And they're going. I'm thinking maybe, are they going to call that intentional, Gilly? I don't think so. I think he went in with the left hand and got him on the, on the wrist coming in. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't believe so. Yeah. They, 
They're gonna, I thought they were calling Alex Wagner on the foul, but it looks like. Oh, and that's really yeah. good officiating yeah. because all three of them got together and yes. talked about it. And we had to wait for that, for those officials to get together. They did call on Alex Wagner, Willie but Willie Foster will go to the line. He'll go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line for two shots. Foster lets the first one fly and it's good. Makes it 6-3 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, that's big for the young man coming in. He was two for five coming in. Looked really good on that one. Checking into the game for the Birds, number three, Parker Judy. The senior guard averages 7.8 a game. He'll check in for the Birds. They got a nice bench at LCC. They're deep. They can go seven, eight guys. Yeah, now, you know, that's what Coach McLaughlin's trying to do. He's trying to sub in on a regular basis also to keep fresh legs in. This is Burke up top. Tries to get the ball to Parker Judy, and it'll be corralled by number five, DeMar Foster. He's guarded out top by Colin White. Birds lead 6-3, 2.58 to go here in the first quarter. Here's Pretty with the dribble drive down the baseline. Takes the shot up, shots off the mark. Rebound comes down to Caden Erford, and Erford will bring the ball down. He'll get it over to Colin White. Heck of a take there along the baseline. Just a tough angle. Almost knocked it in, but a great take. White guarded by Pretty, pushes the ball down low. And a nice job of sealing underneath by Grant Schrader as he just backed his man down, scores the points, and it's 6-5 on the Alto scoreboard. Yeah, took it up really strong and finished. Very aggressively. Foster with the shot. Rebound comes down to Burke. He takes it up. Blocked by Colin White. Colin White with the sensational block. It gets back out to Pretty. Shot goes up. No boards. Here comes Colin White as he brings the ball down the floor. Guarded by Pretty. White runs into Burke. No call. Everybody on the floor. Here come the Birds. They'll bring it down the left side. Foster with the left hand. Off the mark. Pretty gets fouled on the rebound. Nice They're going to get number 14, yeah. Brody Fortman, yep. on the call. Good call. I mean, that tells you how much respect that, that uh, Billy Burke has for Colin White. He gets his basket ball, you know, rejected and goes down the other end. And both of them tumble, and the first person he picks up is Colin White. <laughs> yeah, a lot of respect on these kids know each other. They play against each other a lot. Here's Pretty with the ball out top, guarded by Schrader. They'll go Foster on top, back to Parker Judy. They'll go around the horn to Foster. Foster with the 15-footer off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Titans, and it's corralled by Ross Mag, the 6'3 junior. Nice rebound there in a the box out by Ross Mag, like you said. And the ball got thrown away. It went off of three or four people, and they're going to determine that that ball belongs back to Ottawa Glandle. Back into the game for LCC, number 23, Angelo Collins. So everybody getting their money's worth today, Gilly, in this one with 1.42 to go here in the first quarter. T-Bird's up 6-5, both undefeated squads. This is Colin White, jumper from the free throw line, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Pretty. He'll outlet to Foster, and the ball gets away, and it's corralled by Tomazos. He'll go back to Caden Erford. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Caden Erford, he is a sniper. The 6-4 senior knocks it in. He averages 15.6 a game. The Titans have the first lead of the game, 8-6. Big shot there by Erford. This is Collins with the ball, guarded by Erford up top. He'll go back to Foster. Foster dribble drive, takes it up on the right side. He's fouled and he makes the bucket. The foul's going to get called on Grady Tomasas, but you saw the speed of Willie Foster as he's going to go to the line for an old-fashioned three. Explosive is a good word to use right there. Right. My goodness. Right. <laughs> and right now, OG is having a hard time on, on ball defense because of the speed and the ability of the OG, or the uh, LCC guards to get to the rim. And they're only down one. Right, right. 9-8 on, on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here comes Tomazos as he's guarded by Foster out top. 104 to go here in the first quarter. OG leads, excuse me, LCC leads 9-8. They'll go Colin White down on the block. Colin White guarded by Pretty. Tries to go to the middle, swing it back out. Caden Erford from the left side, three ball on the way. Off the mark, rebound comes down to the Titans. Ball goes up, and it's Amaro. Oh, Are you goodness. kidding me? Colin White out of nowhere slams it home, and he makes it 10-9 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. That's why he's one of the best players in the country, Gilly. And it wasn't a one-hander. It was a, going <laughs> up and tomahawking with two hands. I mean, that was a serious flush. 
25 seconds to go here in the first quarter. OG up 10-9. They're going to hold for the last shot with under 20 seconds to go. Foster guarded out top by Erford. He's going to go with the right side. He'll go back to Foster up top. This is Willie Foster. He's going to dribble drive left side. Takes it up and under. Nice move, and it's off the mark. Here comes Colin White. He gets the outlet to Erford, and Erford's going to lay it in and hammer it home. The OG Titans, after one quarter of play, lead the LCC Thunderbirds 12-9. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Edward C. Hurd Gymnasium on the campus of Lima Central Catholic, where after one quarter of play, the OG Titans, Gilly, lead 12-9. Yeah, on two vicious stunts, the last two possessions right there in the uh, quarter, but you know, that's one of those possessions where Coach Powell, I'm sure he addressed it, shot the ball too soon, you know? To give L or you give want a, the last shot, you right? You want the yeah. last shot, but you got to shoot it under three seconds, and they did, and they shot it just under five. A long rebound, and Erford was streaking. They found him, and he flushed it to give the, the uh, Titans a 12-9 lead here going into the second quarter. So the start of the second quarter, Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Edward C. Gymnasium here on the campus of Lima Central County. This is pretty top of the three, or top of the key three. Rebound to Billy Burke, and there, yeah, he went way over top of the defender, and he was boxed out by Erford, but unfortunately they're going to get Billy Burke on the foul. We don't call that over the back anymore, do we? We just call that. Well, it's not in the rule book listed as an over and back. It's almost uh, what they consider yeah. going through somebody to get the yeah, ball. The reason I say that is every fan in the gym oh, always yeah. screams over the back and there's no system. <laughs> Here come the Titans up 12-9. This is White guarded by Pretty on the left side. He'll swing it around to Tomazos. Tomazos gets it to Kate Nerford, who was cutting to the baseline. He knocks the ball loose, and the T-Birds corral it. Here comes Foster down the middle of the floor. Thought about shooting the ball. He'll swing it over to Willie Foster. Willie Foster dribble drives, takes it up on the left side, and he scores. Nice Willie move. Foster, nice move. And he makes it 12 to 11 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Nice dribble drive slash there, finish with the left hand, protecting the basketball. There's a nice backdoor cut by Colin White, and he lays it in over top of Billy Burke, and there you saw the rising capabilities of Colin White. Here come the birds back down the floor, and Pretty's going to go up, and he's going to be fouled by Caden Irvin. And sooner enough, though, Gilly, the fouls are starting to mount up here. Yeah, and that's, that's what uh, Coach McLaughlin's asking about, too. He's asking... Same play at the other end of the floor, and there was no call. So now Caden Erford has two on the OG side. Carson Parker has two on the LCC side. Pretty misses the first one. Yeah, and I noticed that they made the change defensively. They put Parker down inside and moved Pretty out guarding White. Parker Judy enters the game now for LCC. Carson Parker will take a seat. He's got two fouls already for the Birds. Pretty is the leading scorer for Jordan Pretty, the leading scorer for LCC at 14.3 a game. The sophomore guard does a great job of leading this crew. He misses both of those shots, and OG leads 14 to 11 on the Altman Outdoor scoreboard. Here comes Colin White. He's guarded by Pre. He up and under, shot from the foul line, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Willie Foster. He'll outlet it over to DeMar Foster. Foster takes it up from the right side, misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Brody Fortman. Brody Fortman's played a nice first half for the OG Titans. White with a three ball from the top of the key, and it's good. Colin White squares his shoulders, sets his feet, and knocks down the triple. White's got eight to lead all scores. There's a near steal at the top. They'll bring it back down. This is pretty. Looks down to Billy Burke. He's guarded out top by Grant Schrader. They'll swing it over to Foster. 6.03 to go here in the second quarter. OG Titans lead 17 to 11. Here's a double drive by Foster, and he takes it up. Rebound comes down to Burke. He's fouled, and he'll go to the line. Billy Burke, Johnny on the spot, scores the bucket. He'll go to the line. Yeah, that was a heck of a dribble drive slash right there. I'm trying to think who that was or see. It looked like Willie Foster going to the rack with it, and Billy Burke right there to clean up the glass and get the old-fashioned and one. They got Ross Mag on the foul. That's his first. So Burke will go to the line for a single shot here, and it's off the mark. Uh, Parker Judy was trying to get the ball. They're, they're going to call, I believe they're going to call a foul 
Number three, Grant Schrader, and the official made the sign that he was holding in the uh, the uh, arm of the LCC player. Locked him up. Yeah. That's his second. 5.53 to go. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So LCC will trigger the ball underneath their basket. They'll get it out to Jordan Pretty. He'll swing it over to Willie Foster. Willie Foster dribble drives. Thought about taking the shot. Little turnaround jumper. It it's has, good. Willie Foster. Like you said, you made a great point. The fouls. sophomore guard who averages a nine point five game knocks it Not in. He so makes it seventeen fifteen. On the ultimate outdoor the scoreboard. Individual fouls. You know, some of the more more important players. You know, that log a lot of And there's Foster guarding or, out top. He's all over. Or playing Grady Tomazos. And there comes the rebound down off the missed shot. Here come the birds. They're flying down the left side. Foster takes it up and under. And he goes up and under Colin White. And it's all not at 17 on this ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here's Colin White up top, guarded by Pretty. They'll yeah, swing it around. Fade away right over the top of Thought Ross about taking the three. Nice defense by the Birds as OG having trouble getting set in their offensive sets. 4.58 to go. All not at a 17. Three ball from the top of the key. And they're going to get pretty on the foul as Colin White attempted the three. Gilly, LCC's really good when they're out running. I mean, in transition, they attack the rim. Well, it, you know, you look at situations like where does it start from, and you, and you look at uh, de defending the post. Defending the post starts with on-ball defense. So when I talk about getting out and running, you're right. It's defending the midline. It's defending the – there's a lot of things that happen for you to get to run the ball the other way. Well, it all starts with their defense. It's predicated on, you know, helping out, slapping the basketball, midline, and like you said, getting it and going. So Colin White makes two of the three to make it 19-17 on the ultimate out score book. Uh, White has 10 to lead all scores. Excuse me, he is tied with Willie Foster for the lead score here. Both of those players have 10 apiece. And this is Tomozos up top. Well, you're not going to get anything Colin easy White on, on them the because side. they're going to defend the basketball. They're going to get right Tries up into you. Pretty and crowd you make, about taking the make, jumper. You make a decision really with the basketball. Nice on -ball defense Hopefully it's for the one that turns into a turnover. This is Alex Wagner up top, sets a screen on Pretty. They'll go back to Tomazos. 4.14 to go. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Lima Central Catholic High School. They'll go back down low to Colin White, who had set himself up on the block. And he'll go back door. Nice cut there. Bucket not good. You saw number 12, Ross Mag, cut to the basket, and he misses the shot. There's a long three from out top, off the mark, and it's corralled by Colin White. He'll outlet it out top to Wagner. Wagner takes it up. That ball is knocked down, but they're going to get a foul, and it looks like they're going to get Willie Foster on the foul. Yeah, tough break because Fortman threw a nice little dump down off of Colin White's skip pass. Alex Wagner, the 6'2 senior, averages 5.3 a game as he knocks in his first one. Great recognition hey, by Colin White off Giller. the they rebound. 6'4", 6'6", 6'3", 6'7". And we're Wagner not even talking about Dave the Westry, and he took who's not back from an injury. Contacts, and, you know, he is a post presence at 6'7", the senior with a torn ACL. In, we Wagner talked to some folks earlier today, and they said and maybe, maybe after the first of the year. Yeah. at the charity strike. So OG leads 20-17 to 17 with 3.33 to go until halftime. Foster swings it over to Foster. Foster dribble drives up and a nice job. Willie Foster with a smooth baseline move and he makes it 20 to 19 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. I don't know how you stop that, Gilly. That's just athleticism. This is Tomazzo. First of the year they're thinking. Shot goes up. Rebound comes down to 
Brody Fortman, they lose the ball. Here comes Foster. He's challenged by White. Nice stop. It's a play there. You just see Willie Foster just stop and take it up. And the Birds lead 21-20 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Three ball from the right side off the mark. That was Brody Fortman with the missed three. Here comes Carson Parker. Jordan Pretty from the left, left side. Off the mark. Smart Rebound comes down. Team. D'Angelo Collins corrals it. Foster from there. the top of the key. And that ball's off the mark. Colin White with the rebound. And that is that is a fast-paced game. OG's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout of the move. 21-20. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic High School. Gilly, they just uh, gave the 50-50 total. And to tell you how many people were here, it's up over $5,000. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> The guy says, well, let's see if we can get it to 6000 <laughs> oh, My goodness. Now, my wife is with me tonight, and she bought tickets, so oh, yeah. <laughs> here's rooting for me. There you go. <laughs> Here comes OG. They'll bring the ball down. 234 to go. LCC on top, 21-20. This is Colin White. Fakes the three. Takes it. Skip pass across the floor. Three ball on the mark. Rebound comes down to Erford. Erford takes it up. And a nice, strong move. There you saw Caden Erford, the 6'4 senior. And he showed all that his size right there to make it 22 21. Sure did. Push the basketball right back up through his face, through the defender's arms, and knocked it down. OG going back to a flat 3 2 zone here. This is pretty on the right side. Swing it over. They've got Carson Parker over on the wing. There's a long three from Foster, and that goes off the mark, and Erford will corral it and get it to Colin White. Colin White runs a lot of point for the Titans. Well, and I was just thinking yeah. the same thing. You know, is that something Coach Holman can do with him at the next level, put him at the point guard spot at 6'6". Colin White misses two shots in a row, gets his own rebound, shot goes up, and he's going to get fouled. And they're going to get D'Angelo Collins on the foul. And there you saw Colin White, my goodness, misses two shots, gets his rebound, and gets fouled on the third one. Well on his way to a double-double, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. He'll go to the line. He's got 10 points already tonight. Just under 69% for the season at the charity strike. First one off the mark. Colin White struggling at the line a little bit. Into the game now for the Titans. Number 12, Ross Mag, and number 14, Brody Fortman. Billy Burke checks in for the T-Birds. Parker also, Judy will come back in for Carson Parker. Parker Judy. Yeah, that night against Shelby, I know he went to the line at least 12 to 14 times himself. And went through a little bit of a funk, but you think about that, 69%. He's bounced back in those other games and knocked some big free throws in. And knocks the second one in to make it 23-21 with 1.34 to go. Pretty is double teamed out top, and he loses the ball, and it's going to go back to OG. A little bit of pressure there by the Titans as they show that on the top of that uh, not really half-court press, Gilly. Yeah. They will. They will. Yeah. He, you know, and one thing about Coach McLaughlin, he'll mix up his pressure sure. points, and he likes to utilize those after made free throw attempts. 124 to go. Titans up 23-21 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. This is Erford on the left side of the floor, guarded by Foster. He'll swing it around. Grant Schrader back in the game now for the Titans. Alex Wagner up top, swinging around the Colin White. 105 to go. Titans taking their time against this LCC defense. Erford got down low, and the ball got knocked away, but it'll be corralled by Schrader as he takes back up top, and he'll give it to Colin White. He'll set the offense back up. We're down to 44 seconds. Titans lead 23-20. There's a steal from Foster. Foster goes up on the left side. Little 12-footer. It's blocked by Colin White. Gets back to Foster, and the ball gets tipped away by the Titans, and they'll bring it down the floor. Here's Caden Erford. Three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. Here comes Jordan Pretty for the Birds. He'll bring it down the left side. He's contested by Tomazos. Takes it up, and he scores. Jordan Pretty with a little bit of a spin. He scores, and he'll go to the line for an old-fashioned three. Did you say that one was pretty by pretty? Oh, that was real pretty I by mean, pretty. what a real nice left to right spin back. I mean, taking the thing up strong, drawing the contact, knocking it in, going to get the free throw. 
Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Simplified Flooring. We make your flooring simple. So Jordan Pretty will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line as he gets a chance to knock down one. He gets a chance to give the Birds a one-point lead as we're all nodded at 23. And he does not as the ball goes off the mark and rebound comes down to the Titans. So I'm thinking OG is going to hold here with 15 seconds for the last shot. And I got a pretty good idea who they may want taking that last shot as Colin White is guarded by Pretty up top. They'll go Kate Nerford. They'll go back to Colin White. We're at five seconds. Here goes Colin White. Gets over to Erford. Erford clear for a three from the left side. And it's off the mark. After one half a play from Lima Central Catholic, we are all knotted at 23. We'll have second half action right after these messages. Welcome back to Edward C. Her Gymnasium on the campus of Lima Central Catholic High School. As we are all knotted at 23, and Gilly, what a first half we had. And, and it, it was almost a game of momentum and spurts, and both teams had the lead, and, and LCC had a little bit of advantage, and then OG, OG came out in the second quarter and took control, and here we are knotted at 23. Yeah, LCC got themselves behind the eight ball right there. I think it was a five-point yeah, spread. Yeah. But uh, give them credit, they came back and on the play of Willie Foster with his 14 first half points and Collins 11 for Ottawa Glendorf. We're knotted up here at 23 heading into the third quarter. Did, Gilly, do you see an advantage that you would try to exploit on either side of the floor? Well, you're going, you know what you're going to get with Ottawa Glendorf, you know, with Erford and, and Colin White. You know, their, their issue has been finding that consistent third score, whether it be three, four, and five men getting six points apiece. You know, anything that they can add to those other two who's combined getting them 42 a game of their 66. And you got LCC, which has such balanced scoring right now. You know, I, it, it, the team that would be very difficult to scout of these two teams, you'd have to believe it'd be LCC. Absolutely. So here we go, Gilly, starting the second half, all knotted at 23. Colin White with the ball up top. He leads the OG Titans with 11 going into halftime here. They'll swing it out top to the left side. This is Grady Tomazos with the ball. He swings it over for number three, Grant Schrader, who misses the three. Rebound comes down to Carson Parker. They'll swing it out to Pretty. Three ball blocked by Colin White. And how many times have we seen that tonight, Gilly? Colin White just really gets up and blocks a lot of shots. They're going to say that the ball, they're going to say, I thought Colin White he did. hit the ball. I'm almost positive he, he did. did. He, he blocked yeah. the shot. Yeah, and the officials are getting together. They're going to get this right, yeah. And Colin White just kind of rolled his eyes because he knew, and, and uh, <laughs> that's funny. He tried, he tried to talk to the official until he now he's grinning about it a little bit. Jordan Pretty uh, just looked at him and smiled, and he's like, come on, dude, you know you did it. <laughs> Good sportsmanship by those two guys right there. So here's Carson Parker. They'll go Billy Burke at the top of the key. Carson Parker gets the handoff there, a little spin around up and under with the left hand, and he scores. Pretty Carson move. Parker, Number nice two, move. Carson up and Parker. under with the left hand, and he gives the birds the early 25-23 lead here the third quarter. Yeah, nice little finger roll there by the senior. Played a lot of varsity basketball in his career here as a T-Bird. Here's Parker, or excuse me, here's Colin White with the 18-footer, and it goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to the birds. Jordan Pretty's going to attack him on the right side. Shot goes up, and it's off. Gets his rebound, puts it back up, misses again, and Colin White will rebound it. Good take here by Pretty. unfortunately. Couldn't get the first two to get down. There's Jumper Colin. from the foul line, Colin White. And boy, if he gets started, Gilly, that's bad news for anybody trying to guard him because when he gets on a roll, he's as good as they come. 25-25 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Our pregame tonight was sponsored by Rhodes State College. Spring 2024 registration is now open. Rhodes State College, our pregame sponsor. Thank those folks out at Rhodes State for a great pregame Gilly and I conducted tonight before the game. Here come the birds down, or excuse me, nodded at 25. A nice jumper there by Willie Foster from the foul line, and he gives the birds the 27-25 lead. They give him 16 here in the third quarter. He's fantastic right now. He has played a great game for the T-Birds. Erford swings it over to Colin White, sets a screen on Carson Parker. 
Great matchup with Carson Parker guarding Colin White. They'll swing it down to the block. This is Ross Mag with the turnaround jumper off the mark. Here comes Foster. He'll bring it down the right side. Willie Foster's got 16 to lead all scores. Carson Parker tries to go baseline, uses his strength, takes it out, and they're going to get Colin White on the foul. Foul on OG, number 22. A smart, heady play there by Carson Parker as he went up on the right side, kind of went underneath of White and went to the other side of the basket. White protected the basketball with that weak shoulder, allowing him to draw the contact on Colin and got him in the air. Going to get first, two free throws. First one up and good. Carson Parker's got three on the night. Carson Parker only has three, Gilly, but he does so much for this T-Bird team. Does little things. Yeah. First word is probably leadership, and that's... That's a big one for this team. He's so athletic. All-state quarterback. There's a second one that falls, and the Birds lead 29-25 with 5.36 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Lima Central Catholic High School in this big non-league basketball affair between the LCC T-Birds and the OG Titans. A packed gymnasium. Everybody here to see this great game between these two basketball powers. There's a nice 12-footer by Grant Tomas, or excuse me, Grady Tomasos, and it goes in, and it's 29-27 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Yeah, GT did a real nice job coming off that Colin White screen. And the LCC T-Birds are going to take a timeout. With 5.07 to go, the T-Birds lead 29-27. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic High School. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Well, Gilly, they just gave the 50-50 numbers, and uh, well, they're not the numbers, they gave the amount, and it's up over $7,000. So the packed house here tonight really, really uh, doing their work to make that 50-50 drawing, and let's just hope uh, one of us wins. <laughs> wow. They're right? That's what I said, $7,000. Happy New Year. Yeah, right? That'd be a nice New Year. D'Angelo Collins will trigger the ball into DeMar Foster. He'll get it over to Willie Foster. Jordan Pretty double teamed on the left side. Carson Parker, three ball from the right side. Off the mark. That was almost in. <laughs> My goodness, I almost said three ball in, and it comes off the rim. Colin White with the ball. He's guarded heavy by Willie Foster. He really struggling to bring the ball up here. And they're going to get Foster on the foul. A lot, a lot of contact there, yeah. Gilly. I'm yeah. surprised the call wasn't earlier. Yeah, they're going to let the bump and go for a little bit. And if you start to do it excessively, you're leaving the officials in the stripes no choice but to call a foul. Erford with the ball up top. They'll go Colin White. Colin White goes right side, takes it up against Carson Parker, and a beautiful drive by Colin White. He's got 15 to lead the Titans, and we're all nodded at 29 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Low pressure there by the Titans as the Birds break it easily. Foster from the three line, off the mark. Colin White brings it down. He'll run down the middle of the floor. He'll outlet it to Caden Erford on the right side. Erford dribble drives to the foul line, and the ball is almost stolen. They're going to get D'Angelo Collins grabbing his arm. Entering the game now for the Titans, number 14. That is Brody Fortman and number one, Alex Wagner. Billy Burke enters for the Titans and does number four, Matthew Quatman. 4.18 to go, all nodded at 29. Nothing changed since the end of the half there at 23 apiece. Three ball from the top of the key, it's off the mark. Alex Wagner corrals the rebound, puts it up, and he scores. The 6-2 senior knocks in the little bunny, and he makes it 31-29 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here's that pressure from OG. Yeah, mixing the variations of the pickup point. <laughs> Willie Foster, who's having the game of his life, scores again, and he'll go to the free throw line for an old-fashioned three. Foster's got 18 on the night. Gilly, I saw him two nights ago. Really nice player, but he is taking it to another level tonight. Boy, I'll tell you what, he was really subtle about getting that basketball <laughs> up and over the rim. And he knocks that one in. He's got 19 on the night. The sophomore having an unbelievable <laughs> night with 19. 32-31 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Birds lead by one with 3.50 to go. Caden Erford getting a lot of pressure by Jordan Pretty up top. 
He'll go left side, thought about taking it up. He'll swing it back. Nice cut there by Wagner as he puts the ball up. Off the mark. Here come the T-Birds off and running down the right side. This is Willie Foster. A little shake and big takes it up. And off the mark. Rebound comes down to Billy Burke. He misses the shot. Colin White brings it down the middle of the floor for the Titans. Tough break up by Burke. There you saw Colin White get tripped up. And they're going to say that Colin White was fouled. And now White showing a little limp in his step. Let's hope he's okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if it wasn't a knee to, a th to the thigh I, I think area. you're right. I think you're right, Gilly. It, well, I don't think it was an ankle or anything like that. You're right. He's holding uh, his thigh area there. Oh, and there you saw a little alley-oop to White, and he misses the shot. Here comes Carson Parker. They go Willie Foster to the right side. He fakes the three. Go back out to Jordan Pretty. Carson Parker back to Matthew Quatman. Three ball from the left side. Quatman off the mark, and they're going to get Burke uh, rising up over top of Brody Fortman. We haven't talked a lot about Brody Fortman, but he's played a nice ball game for the Titans Yeah, today. he has and did a really good job right there going against a bigger size Burke, but what a great job on the box out. That's Burke's second. Colin White uh, wincing in pain down there on the baseline. Um, so let's hope he does uh, gets it back uh, to where he was before that injury. Yeah, that's one of those where he's not going to be able to sit very long because they're tightening up. Kay Nerford tried to go behind the back. Jordan Pretty gets him on the foul, and that is number two for Jordan Pretty. And the home crowd does not like that call. Gilly. I haven't asked you this yet. What is your thoughts on the new rule on, on the fouls? I'm still not sold on it, but I think if it's done with consistency, it may turn out to be a good thing. Does it change the way you coach? Yes. Absolutely it does. Yeah, absolutely it does. So Kate Nerford will go to the line with 2.59 to go. Nerford's got seven for the Titans. Shot goes up, and it's good. The senior knocks in the first free throw. Give him eight on the night. We're all nodding at 32 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. He misses the second one. Jordan Pretty brings it down. He's going to go right down the middle of the floor, and he's going to attack the rim, and he's going to be fouled. Jordan Pretty just flies down the floor. Gilly, I saw from the half court, he wasn't stopping. No, he, you know, he was making his way to the rim, and either you're going to have to step in front of him, or you're going to have to foul him. They, they chose to foul him. I was just taking a look what they're doing to Colin. It is his right thigh, and the trainer's working on him. I don't know if she's putting some icy hot or yeah, some, type some, some type of balm on it. Yeah. Yeah, he's grimacing. I think it was a knee that he took to the thigh area. That foul was on number 12, Ross Nag for the Titans. That's his second foul on the evening. And pretty misses the first one. He makes the second one, and the Birds lead 33-32 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. 33-32, 2.42 to go. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Lima Central Catholic High School. Nice Titan, entry. Nice job by the Titans to get the ball down to the block. And Grant Schrader misses the shot. They'll get the loose ball. Caden Erford takes it in. He misses the shot. And it's corralled by Parker Judy. And they're going to get Grant Schrader on the foul. So a lot of physicality down low. Yeah, loose ball on the floor. No, G just couldn't convert. Had two opportunities there off the LCC turnover. Gilly, it's 33-32 with 2.26 to go in the third. This has the feeling of last possession, last score game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're watching a dandy, buddy. We're watching a dandy. Here's the one, two, two, three-quarter court. OG's going to implement. They play, hot, they play wide up top because of the long reach. Here's Carson Parker. He'll dribble drive left side. He'll go foul line. Swing it over to Parker Judy. Parker Judy from the three line. He misses that shot. Rebound comes down to Ross Mag, and he'll get it out to Colin White on the left side of the floor. Can ask for a better look right there by Judy. Nice little dribble drive kick to the corner by Parker. Colin White going against 
the T-Bird defense on the baseline. He'll get it out to Erford. Erford takes it up a little too hard off the backboard. Here come the T-Birds down the left side of the floor. This is Parker Judy, loses it out of bounds, and it'll go back to OG. I like what Sean Powell did there. He got Jordan Pretty about a 30-second rest there. Nobody really noticed. And OG is going to take a timeout. This one is a dandy. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 1.43 to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic High School. We're with 1.43 to go here in the third quarter. The LCC T-Birds lead 33-32. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. So here we go, partner one, 38 to go here in the third quarter. T-Birds up 33-32. This is Colin White with the ball. He'll go Colin, or he'll go Caden Erford. Foul line jumper off the mark. As Brody Fortman misses that one, they corral the rebound. Fortman swings it back out to Colin White. Good job by Ross Mag keeping that thing alive. And a beautiful drive by Colin White. Gilly, did you see how he protected the ball from the defender? Yeah, kept it tight to his body, didn't he? Yes, went, he did. went up through his body and knocked that one in. Colin White's got 17 to lead the Titans. And they lead 34-33 with 105 to go. Carson Parker gets it over to Foster. Foster left side three ball, and it's good. Willie Foster's got 22, Foster. and that young man can't miss, Gilly. Yeah, he's on He's on the game of his life right now, isn't he, for the super sophomore. 36-34, T-Birds lead, and there's a foul out top. And that's got to frustrate Coach Powell with a foul 50 feet from the basket, it seems like. Well, they're so doggone aggressive, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure, I do. I absolutely do. You know, and then you got the 48 seconds, and it's going to go back to zero fouls again. Yep. Here's Grant, or excuse me, Grady Tomazos from the foul line, and he knocks in the first one. Yeah, GT perfect on the season from the charity stripe. He's got three for the Titans, and it makes it 36-35 T-Birds. Second one on the way, and that is good too. So we are all knotted at 36. So 13 apiece for both these squads here in the second or the third quarter. There's that little pressure by the Titans. Foster goes down to Billy Burke. Billy Burke swings it out. Foster from the top of the key, fakes the three, dribble drives, loses the ball. Jordan Pretty gets it on the baseline, guarded by Colin White. They'll swing it back over to Carson Parker. Down to 27, Carson Parker, the 18-footer, and it's good. Carson Parker steps up and knocks in the deuce, and he makes it 38-36 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, right over the extended arms of Caden Erford. Nice move right there by Parker, knocking that 18-footer in. Here's White with the ball. We're down to 10 seconds. White guarded by Carson Parker up top. We're down to six. This is Colin White. Colin White with the ball. Step back, steps through, shot goes up, and it's off the mark, and that's how the third quarter ends. After three quarters of play from Lima Central Catholic High School, the T-Birds, a two-point advantage over the Titans, 38-36. Welcome back to Edward C. Her Gymnasium on the campus of Lima Central Catholic High School. We're after three quarters of play. Not much is sold, Gilly. We're at 38-36. T-Birds lead the Titans. How'd they do it in the third quarter, Gilly? How did they do it in the third <laughs> quarter? How <laughs> we get the two-point advantage? They had to earn it, first of all. Both teams, every, every point that both teams have put on the board, they've had to earn it because both teams are just getting after it defensively. Yeah, you look, you look at uh, uh, OG on the season, averaging giving up 46 a game, and LCC giving up 39 a game. And here we set at 38-36. You're right. Defense has been the key to this game. Both teams so athletic. And here we start the fourth quarter. LCC leads 38-36. This is Willie Foster with a dribble drive. Left hand, and he scores. Willie Foster, he's got 24, Gilly. That young man averages 9.5 a game. He's doing it in both ways. He's doing it from the perimeter with the three and also off the dribble drive slash. 
Here's Colin White, guarded by Carson Parker. He'll dribble drive foul line. Gets it inside to Erford. Erford takes it up and he scores. Nice job by Caden Erford getting inside position on Billy Burke. And he makes it 40-38 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Great T pass lead. by Colin White right there on the dump down. Burke finds Pretty going to the basket, and he is blocked by Caden Erford. They're going to Erford on the body. I thought I thought Pretty was going to slam that home, but Caden Erford had other ideas. Yeah, I was I was more concerned of a travel right there, but he covers so much ground with that first step. Jordan Pretty will go to the free throw line. Our free throws are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So Jordan Pretty misses the first one. Pretty's got six on the night. He's the leading scorer for this team. He averages 14.3 a game. But what's fascinating about that, Gilly, is you look at Willie Foster. He's picked up everybody tonight with his 24 on the board. Well, one of the Achilles heels for LCC is the, the ability to knock in the free throws from the charity strike. So here we go, LCC leads 41-38 with 7.07 to go here in the game. Erford will swing it down to Grant Schrader. Schrader guarded by Willie Foster. They'll swing it over to Colin White. Colin White dribble drives right side. He takes it up. Off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's swatted away. Ross Mag had the ball, and it's swatted away. Willie Foster with a near steal. It's that was Corral. Willie actually yes, on the block. This is Schrader, takes it back up, and he scores. Grant Schrader shows you that football strength as he scores to make it 41-40. 6.36 to go, and that ball's kicked out of bounds by Colin White. Colin White was 17 to lead the Titans. Willie Foster with 24 for the T-Bird to lead all scores on the night. This place is full, Gillian. They're getting their money's worth today. And DeMar Foster with the drive. Excuse me, DeMar, got yeah. GT Grady Tomasos right there. Grady Tomasos. Grady Tomasos with the foul. DeMar Foster thought about taking it in. He gets fouled uh, on the near baseline on the right side. 6.26 to go. Danny Hammer, Darren Gilbert from Lima Central Catholic High School. As the Birds trying to get this one in the win column over the OG Titans as they lead 41-40, a back-and-forth affair all night. Here's Pretty from the left side. It's off the mark, and he falls down. He wanted a call. Caden Erford swings it out to Schrader. Schrader's going to take it up against Parker, and it's blocked by Billy Burke. He got by Caden, or excuse me, he got by Parker, but Billy Burke makes up for it and swats it away. Yeah, it went into the land of the trees right there, didn't he? Got yes, by he one, but the other one was waiting on him. A lot of great help defense on this floor tonight. As we've seen it all. Here's Ross Mag swings it over to Tomasos. Tomasos to Schrader, Schrader to Erford. Erford guarded by Pretty. Erford's going to get his back to Pretty, taking down a low post, and they're going to get they're going to get Caden Erford on the charge. A little bit of spin around there, Gilly, and that could have went either way. That yeah, went one 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 on one situation. He tried to go left to right on the spin and dropped his shoulder into Pretty. 5.58 to go. Turnover Titans. 41-40. Almost they throw the ball away. DeMar Foster has to climb the ladder to catch that one. Pretty athletic play right there. <laughs> it was really athletic. <laughs> this is Willie Foster. He'll go down low to Jordan Pretty. He takes it up. And a nice, strong move by Jordan Pretty over Caden Erford. And he makes it 43-40 with 5.31 to go in the game. Yeah, a little isolation right there on the box. Erford playing with four fouls. That's a great set. And there you see Colin White misses the shot, but it's rebounded by Grady Tomazos, and he's fouled on the shot. He makes it for an old-fashioned three-point attempt. Grady Tomazos goes to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. He's got six on the night, Gilly. He's got a chance to tie it up here with 5.23 to go. Every time you think one of these clubs is going to run away with it, they just come back. It's like a heavyweight fight. Yeah, Tommaso's in that Shelby game late in the game hit some huge free throws for them to extend and get that victory. Here's Jordan Pretty from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound Billy Burke. Pretty gets his own rebound, gets his ball back, and he's going to be fouled by Colin White. And that's the second one on White. Uh, no trouble there for the Titans, as that's only the second one for Colin White. Boy, Gilly, with this early start, there's a lot of high school coaches here scouting tonight. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, I, I saw the light. They've got next week the WBO resumes playing. They've got Ottawa Glendorf. I see Alan East players sitting across with Coach Young. 
But you're right, there's a lot of them here, and a lot of people just like basketball. Absolutely. Who wants to get a ticket to come in. Well, there ain't no tickets left now. No. <laughs> Not a seat available here, so T-Birds make both of them. It's 45-43. And then cross town home. tonight, I think Lima Senior's got a Reynolds bird. <laughs> Here's Erford, a little fake there, and he knocks in the jumper. Nice fundamental wow. play. Caden Erford from the free throw line, and he makes it 45 all on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. There's a steal, and there's another steal by the birds. Carson Parker, three ball from the right side, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down, Caden Erford, and he'll slow it down to give the Titans a chance to set it up. Erford right now with a dozen. White with 17 to lead the Titans. Erford trying to get the ball over to Grady Tomazos. Might have got away with a push right well, there. That's what I was thinking. Here's Colin White, jumper from the foul line, off the mark. He's guarded heavily by Carson Parker. Here come the birds, tied at 45 all. Willie Foster with 24 on the night. He'll dribble drive, take it in left side, misses the shot. A rare miss by Willie Foster. Yeah, I'm not so sure why he didn't continue with the left hand. He yeah, tried he to right, scoop yeah. it with the right. I think if he keeps it in his left, he's been real consistent about knocking that in. I think he had a real good opportunity, a high percentage to make that. Great point, Gilly. Here's White on the drive. And they're going to get Burke. Yeah, Billy Burke on the foul. Great call, Gilly, great call. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. So Colin White's got a chance here to put the Titans up by two. Well, they haven't get, been up in give, a while. Give him a lot of credit because he forced the shot this last possession. And I saw Coach McLaughlin shorter rubbing his forehead. But, you know, White, just he didn't settle for a jumper that time. Sure. You know, he, he found his way to the rim. That's what big time players do. He is an absolute big time he's a, player. He's a big timer. He's, yes, he he's a high riser. In the, in the country rankings. Absolutely. Second one on the way, and it's good. Colin White looked real comfortable on those two, and he gives OG the lead for the first time in a while at 47-45 with 3.50 to go in the game. Yeah, and they're making their free throws here in the, in the important fourth quarter between him and Tomasos. And, and OG going back to that flat 1-2-2, two, two, Gilly. They've seen enough of LCC driving to the rim here. Well, here's my concern. You better find number one and number two. And a nice, oh, nice job. Play. What a nice play against that zone or zone defense, excuse me. And you saw Billy Burke just go to the rim and ties it up at 47. Yep, dribble to the corner, slid right down the lane. A little dump in, finished by Burke at the rim. 3.15 to go, all knotted at 47. Tomazos with the ball up top, guarded by Foster. They'll go back over to Brody Fortman. Fortman looks for White. White goes back down. Grant Schroeder takes it up, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Willie Foster. Schrader had great position. He just missed the shot. Yeah, that's where they oh, – There's a steal play. out top by Tomazos, and he takes it in. No foul on the play. He goes down hard. Coach McLaughlin upset about that play. Here come the T-Birds. Here's Pretty from left side, and it's good. Jordan Pretty. That's a huge swing, Gilly. It went from T-Birds down two to up three. Yeah, they're going to get a foul. They're going to get a foul on Carson Parker, and he is really upset. Carson Parker ran into by Colin White. Well, that's a 50-50 call right there. Yeah, that's a tough one. Great play by Parker. Yeah, that's a big swing, you know, the, the two-point the two point steal missed layup and then going down hit the big three there. A lot of time left, though. Carson Parker will go to the bench, and Parker Judy will come in the game for the T-Birds. Kate Nerford will trigger it in underneath their basket. Colin White with the ball. He's got a little spin around. Shot goes up, and he gets fouled, and that'll send Colin White to the line. I think they got Judy with the push. So Colin White knows exactly what his team needs at all times on the floor as he's trying to get to the rim, and he's going to the foul line with no time running off the clock. Smart player, smart player. First one on the way, he knocks it in. Free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. So Colin White's got 20 to lead the Titans. Well, remember, Erford's playing with four. That's right. Second one is good. Makes it 50-49 with 2.27 to go. Here's that pressure from OG. 
Almost nearly throw it away. Billy Burke brings it in, gets it over to Parker Judy, and he scores. They broke that press, and Parker Judy headed to the rim, and he scores to make it 52-49. Great dump off by the post player, Burke, right there. Caden Erford takes it up from the left side, and he scores! Caden Erford, what a shot by the 6'4 senior, and he knocks it in. He'll go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, I think that's on pretty right there with the body. Back and forth we go. Back and forth we go. 52-51. Birds lead with 2.05 to go. Give Gilly him Lee. 14. Caden Erford 14, but he's also, you're right, he's also got four fouls, so he's got to play smart. Free throw on the way, and it's good. Caden Erford at his average of 15 a game. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We're back here at a sold-out Lima Central Catholic High School gymnasium. We are all knotted at 52 apiece with 2.05 to go. Gilly, I knew it was going to be a good game, but this is absolutely <laughs> as good a game as we've seen this year. It's, it, it's almost seven, like it's a game seven, of runs. Seven, so many points, four. and then bang, the other team comes right back. But, yeah, it's uh, it's got a tournament feel, and here we are at the end of December. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Stick around, folks. WSN's loaded with games all season long. If you like this one, we got lots more just like it. So we're under the two-minute mark, 52 all. Here come the birds. DeMar Foster guarded out top by Grady Tomazos. This is Foster at the top of the key. Down to 146. All knotted at 52. You, know, you don't think they're going to hold the ball for a lengthy amount of time, do you? Well, you see who Colin White's on right now. He's on Willie Foster. Down to 133. Not at 52. Gets it over to Billy Burke at the high post. Burke trying to wheel and deal. Guarded by Caden Erford. They'll go Carson Parker. Up. Tried to take a shot. A little turnaround. And he knocks it in. Carson Parker with a huge bucket as he gives the birds the 54-52 lead with 1.14 to go. Big play by the big senior, logs a lot of varsity minutes, but great footwork right there, knocking down that 12-foot turnaround. Tomazo stops with his dribble drive, gets it over to Schrader, Schrader back over to White. White gets it into Caden Erford, little turnaround jumper, and he knocks it in. Caden Erford thought he should have been fouled, looked at the official, and the official said, no, baby, no. 52 seconds to go. We're yeah. all nodded at 54. Official let him play right there. Big time shot with 17 now for Erford. 54 all, 43 seconds to go. Looks like the Birds may hold for the last shot. Everybody on their feet for the Lima Central Catholic faithful. Down to 35 seconds. Foster guarded up top by Grady Tomasos. Here comes Colin White. They'll double team, and there'll be a timeout on the floor. Sean Powell's going to take a timeout, and he's going to think about it. When we come back, we're going to have the exciting conclusion of this one here on WLSN. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Again, I'd like to thank Rhodes State College for sponsoring our pregame show tonight. Gilly, I'm going to put you in the coach's seat. We've got 26 seconds to go. We're tied up. You hold for the last shot. What are you thinking, big guy? <laughs> As he rolls his eyes. No, I'm glad no, you're no, not no, a coach. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think you've got to put yourselves in a position where if you get a layup, you've got to take it. But if not, I think if you're going to shoot the basketball, you've got to make sure you don't give your opponent an opportunity to get it and take sure. a timeout. Sure. So I would say if it's a layup, yes. Other than that, shoot the basketball with under four seconds to go. Burke's going to trigger it in on the opposite side of the benches. He gets it into the backcourt. And see, they're in they're in the situation now where they're going to shoot free throws at any foul. Foster gets it over to Pretty. Pretty gets it up top, Carson Parker. They'll go try to get it back to Foster. This is Willie Foster. He's got 24 tonight. We're down to 10 seconds. Willie Foster with the ball. 
He's going to dribble drive. He goes to the foul line, takes it up, and he knocks it in. Three seconds to go. Willie Foster's got 26 of the night, and he gives the Birds the 56-54 lead, and this place is going bananas. We're going to keep it right here with 2.6 seconds to go. Go ahead, Gilly. What a gutsy play by the sophomore. You know, we suddenly questioned that right-handed. I, I basically said the right-handed reverse layup. If he'd kept in his left hand, and, and he turns around and doggone if he doesn't take the thing with the right hand to the rack and lays it, kisses it off the backboard there for the two-point lead here with just under, what, four seconds yes, to go? Yeah, and, and Gilly, it's... Willie Foster, we talked about this already, averages 9.5 a game. He's got 26. He's having one of those nights they'll talk about for years to come. And guess what? He's a sophomore. He's a, <laughs> mi he's a mismatch problem. <laughs> yes, he is. You know, and you, you can ask Coach McLaughlin, win or lose after this game, I can guarantee he's going to be scratching his head because this kid has been, you know, super sensational tonight and very dynamite in, in, in what he's done not only at the offensive end, but with his defensive abilities also. And if you're OG, Gilly, you've got 2.6 seconds to go. Are you, look, there's two schools of thought here. You tie it, go to overtime, you get a long pass, you knock in the three, you win the thing. LCC can't afford a foul. Right, right. You know, a foul puts, puts it in double bonus. Looks like they're going to have Colin White trigger the ball in. I'm sorry, I said 2.6. They've got 3.8 on the clock. A lot of time left. A lot of time. You can get four and, dribbles. And another timeout, so they can bring the thing to half court and set something up. And I'm just wondering if that's what Coach McLaughlin's looking at. Colin White triggers it in. He gets it to Erford. Colin White with the ball. Here he comes. Three ball on the way, and it's off the mark. And LCC wins the game 56-54, and the student section is all over the the floor. What a game, Gilly. What a game. Unbelievable game by both ball clubs. Like you said, a tournament atmosphere type game. <laughs> so many good things to say about both programs. Oh my goodness, Gilly. What a game. And Colin White got a great he look. Did. He got a he got across half court. He got in his range and he just missed the shot. You know, you, you, you want to think maybe the you know the the thighs tightening up a little bit where he couldn't get a lot of elevation on the jump shot, but he willed his way through the game. But uh, take nothing away from LCC. They grinded this thing out, and OG grinded it out, and it came down to big plays, and LCC protected your home court by two. Willie Foster leads all scores with 26 for the T-Birds. Colin White, 21 for the OG Titans. And this one, this one's going to be talked about for a long, long time, Gilly. Yeah, this is one where you want to pick up the Lima News and read the article. <laughs> right. Because uh, I'm telling you, there was a lot of basketball players on the floor with high IQs, and they displayed it tonight. You know, pretty, you know, popping in 14, another sophomore, 40 points out of two sophomores for LCC. The two seniors that we've talked about for OG, they came in. White finishing with 21 and Erford with 17. OG made some big free throws in the fourth quarter, hanging around and hanging around, and then, you know, the game went back and forth. But, uh, hey, what a dribble drive by <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Foster <laughs> right there, getting it high on the glass with oh. 3.8 seconds to go. And that'll wrap it up from Lima Central Catholic. The final score tonight, Lima Central Catholic 56, Ottawa Glendor 54. For our entire WSN crew, for Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Hobrick saying we'll see you next week for high school basketball on WOSN.